Hello everyone and welcome to this video with me, Xenovids. I'm currently in the office. The light I don't think is too great, but I wanted to show you what I've been up to. Uh, so I have been purchasing a few models. So we've got some of these. My Wraith Knight there, Wraith Lord, and a unit of Wraith Blade. Got some tanks. More tanks. So yeah. I'm gonna talk about the Wraith Knight. Here he is. Looking good. So what you're going to see now is the what you're going to see now is the process of how I constructed him and painted him. Enjoy. So here we are. Then this is the start of building my wraith knight in the monster base. I've glued on sand, and while that is drying, I'm going to quick look at the sprue. Now, I've spray painted the entire sprue white because I found a good way of painting it is spraying white and putting a yellow wash over it for the colour scheme I'm doing. Um, so if we look at one of the Wraith Blades with the colour scheme, just look at the size of the sword. The sword is twice, almost three times as big as a Wraith Blade. Now a Wraith Blade is a little bit bigger than a Terminator in comparison. Uh, it, it, this model is huge! Absolutely massive! Another size comparison for you, so my Space Wolves drop pod. The sword is almost as tall as the drop pod. This, this, this guy is massive. Um, I've seen the pictures comparing him to the new Tau Riptide, and the Tau Riptide is about to his mid-torso level. So, um, yeah, pretty big, which is great. Um, so, uh, get in the box there. That's what he'll look like. So what I did is start gluing him together, obviously. Looks like a smiling duck at the moment. Um, torso is now half complete. Again, pretty big. So now the torso is complete, um, which is great. It's also now complete. I can now start to think about weapons options. Now, the standard weapon for him is uh, two giant wraith cannons. I think the name are. And uh, I, I, I preferred the way it looked with the shimmer shield and also um, the sun cannon. Uh, a little bit more points wise, but I think it looks better. So here we have um, the torso now it looks like a giant smarty on the front of it. Now I've, I've put, uh, started putting the black down. Um, that's my hand. Uh, some black down ready so that I can dry brush it with a bit of grey and just have that as contrasting colours to the yellow that it will soon to be. So here is my finished base, or half finished base. I've decided to go with it victoriously stepping on a land speeder. That will be the yellow for the rest of it. So the land speeder there with some space marines, and one of them is just holding out his hand saying, Why me? 
Uh, and I've gone with just a standard ultramarine colour scheme for them. Um, so now that that is got the yellow wash on and standing into position, I will. I have glued him now onto the base, just where I want him to be. Um, with the base itself, I just uh, sprayed it black and dry brushed that with a bit of grey. But it's almost like uh, a similar surface to the moon. Um, or, or something like that. So in the background there, I've got the head done as well. And again, another size comparison, just how big he actually is. Um, a, a note... There's a lot of there's a lot of fiddly parts to him, but it is easy to put together, which is great. Um, so here is with the snow just put on. I go with clumping snow. Um, it makes it look more realistic. The best way to do that is to have a bit of PVA glue and some water. Put the snow in and mix it together until it's almost like a porridge consistency, and then you start layering it on. And if you get a bit of clear water and dab that onto the snow um, on the edges, it looks like it's starting to melt as well, I found. So I've just popped that everywhere to make it look like it has crash landed and broken apart. And again, the Space Marine going, why? How am I supposed to beat him with my bolt pistol? I can't do it. He has no chance. So now it's starting to do the arms, and couple of his arms. The head is now stuck on, looking over to his right. Um, another little bit of comparison, that is his gun. It's all, I think in fact it is bigger than the land speeder itself. So here it is with his torso stuck on as well, and some weapon options on there. Going from the face up. Now with the legs, they do come with pin joints for a set pose, so which is easy to put together as sticks if you're a beginner. But if you snip those pins off, the legs do become a lot more poseable, and you can have more of a dynamic um, positioning of the model as well. So we're starting to do the shimmer shield. I've done it similar to the wraith blades. I chaos black. Um, dry brush some metal paint. I, I've used the Citadel um, bolt gun metal. I think it is. Um, and if it gets too metally, I do a black wash over it and then some gold on the trim of the archaic writing. I guess you could say. Again, I, I absolutely love the model. I wasn't too sure whether I was going to fit it in um, to my list, but now I'm going to use it a lot. Um, don't really have the price range for more than one, though, <laughs> at the moment. So here we have uh, the left arm on. He's doing a bit of a jazz hands um, thing with his hand, but you have different options of hands that you're given. So it can be clenched fist or open up. Uh, here he is with his second gun, uh, second arm on with the gun, pointing right into your eyes. Um, so that's my jet bike Farseer model. Um, he's just dwarfed, just, just tiny, looks tiny. So here he is complete. The snow is now dry, and you can kind of see the clumping and the... It's not a very good camera. Um, starting to melt uh, where the snow edges are. <laughs> 
I could do, um, touch it up a little bit, I would probably do some, possibly an oil spill coming out of the land speeder onto the snow to add more effect to it. done with the weapon I've done a glow effect of dry brushing uh, basically what you do you work your way up with the layers of I did it with blue so a dark blue dry brush hardly any paint on the brush and then you do a, a dry brush over the top of that with a little bit lighter blue with less paint on the brush and eventually you get this effect um, which I think works out pretty good Um, like I said, it's done with a yellow wash, so it gives, it goes into the joints well, and, and the raised edges are technically highlighted. It's a cheap way of doing it, uh, but I think it's, it, it's, it's quick and easy, and looks quite good. So there he is, my main heavy support man. Um, it's great. Thank you again for watching this video. If you like the format of having my face at the beginning and more of my face in videos, just let me know. Um, sorry about the audio quality. I am trying to get that fixed. But as ever, please like, subscribe, comment, share, um, and I hope to see you in the next video.